Uh, I don't really have anything to say that hasn't been said before. I don't have any claims to make that haven't been claimed before. I don't have any movements to organize that haven't been moved before, but I like to write. And I like people to listen, and I've never really been heard before. <laughs> uh, the only problem is I'm not much of a storyteller. I'm 18 years old, and I've lived too dull a life to say something that will stick. I wish I was the kind of person that gave their audiences goosebumps, the kind of people that know exactly when to pause, when to raise their voices, and when to drop it to a whisper. The people that have crowds around them at parties because they're telling some amazing story with no actual beginning, middle, or end. But they have so much charm that the other guests are practically applauding by the end of it. Bastards. <laughs> no, really, I hate people with charisma and self-confidence and that lack of social anxiety, the kind of people who enter a room and boom their greetings, and then go up to others and, and start conversations. Who does that? You know what I mean, the kind of people who don't look determinedly at the floor if they see someone they recognize at the mall, and who, if their hair is long enough, don't hide behind it when someone, anyone says anything to them. Sometimes, I wish I could go up to actors after a performance and just tell them how good it was. Instead of staring at my shoes and mumbling something incoherent like, ag, 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 nice one. Or even just maintain eye contact with the shopkeeper when I ask him how much the fucking cup noodles cost. Okay, look, I'm sorry this poem, or lack of poem as it turns out, is not a comment on feminism, or sexism, or racism, or existentialism, or nihilism, or even fucking love. I'm sorry this poem doesn't rhyme. I'm sorry this poem has no rhythm. I'm sorry this poem lacks similes and metaphors and analogies that blow your mind, but above all, I'm sorry this poem is offensive to extroverts, because honestly, <laughs> honestly, fuck you. <laughs> This poem is for all the introverts out there, all the shy little creeps who sit in corners at parties, sipping their drinks and talking to the household pets. <laughs> because the truth is, extroverts are ruining our lives and somebody, somebody, needs to take a stand. Because there's always some confident asshole who talks over the shy guy in the group who actually has a really bizarre story to tell. And that anxious kid who fumbles and chickens out of telling this joke he heard because of some socially secure moron who always gets his punchlines right. And what is it with that one outgoing motherfucker who always frames his sentences perfectly while speaking? I mean, how do you know what you're going to say if you haven't written it down beforehand? So this is for the people with great ideas and funny anecdotes to share who never get heard. The people who could potentially change your life, but are always talked over. The people who you missed out on, just because you were listening to the loudest person in the room. The people in this room, Aspiring poets, novelists, playwrights, songwriters, who are all screwed because of extroverts who just waltz in, adjust the spotlight until it's shining over them, and then smile. That big, radiant, extrovert smile, leaving us hiding, cowering behind sheets of paper and notebooks and Word documents on battered laptop screens with no choice but to bang out our magic, our passion, in the form of written word. So this is for the writers who can make your soul collapse and churn with a piece of paper, who can turn your brain into a sweltering storm of fat flowers and the smell of sunlight, who can make you sob into your living room sofa in the middle of the day, who can make you believe anything, transport you anywhere, but whom you never heard and never saw because they're shy? So this is for the writers. Because yeah, sure, you talk a good talk, and yeah, you walk the right walk, but can you write? <laughs> we don't just want to tell you stories, we also want to hear your stories. So is there a story inside you that's bursting like lava out of an active volcano? Then unleash it. Send it to us at this email. You can send it in any way you want. You can write it. It can be a voice note. You can record yourself. You can paint a picture. You can sing a song. You can tell a poem. You can send us pizza. We would like the pizza more, honestly. But do send us your story. We really want to hear it.